Hey fellow monkey, welcome back! We're finally returning to the storyline where Drazel is trying to take over the world with his mind control. A whole bunch of episodes ago, Drazel killed Drag and went on his merry way to the Russian capital. What he did not take into account was that our favorite protagonist just doesn't stay dead. He's back, and now has the memories of another older version of himself. But will it be enough to save the universe? Again. If you could twist the hand of fate to change something that already happened. What would you change? Ooh, that's a good question. I guess everybody has those moments in life that you wish you changed. But you've got to be real here. Like, every moment that happened in your life, even the negative ones, especially actually the negative ones, they're the ones who form you. So in some way, if you change them, you also change who you are in your inner core. And do we want that? Somebody help me! Oh, we're back in the in the in the forest. Mary. This was from that time when Jake was searching for his mother, and then he ended up with those two girls in the forest. What the hell? You were gone for like ten seconds. How are you in this situation? I I wanted to apologize to Joyce. I was collecting pebbles to make a new necklace. R really? But I forgot the flow of the river is heavy this time of the year, so the surrounding steps washed away as soon as I stepped on them. Damn it! Wait here, I'll look for a long stick. Why are you back at this moment? Ah, I'm slipping. Oh crap. Mary. There's only one way. And that's the point where Drag pushed her off and jumped in, the, in her place. Wait, unless there's another way. This could have gone. Safe. Y you did it. Was there another way? Huh? No! Oh, son of a... Because then indeed Drag fell into the river. Drag! Instead of her, and he drowned. It's a kid? Do people in your country regularly flush down kids or something? Uh, uh, who's there? Of course not! I don't even know how you got tangled! Oh right, yeah, we... When we were in the sewers, we found uh, that kid drag indeed in the sewers. How was that possible? I see. This is why I randomly jumped in the water? Water? Oh, right. I fell in the river while rescuing Mary. But what's the kid doing here? How long has he been here? Oh man, that's already a long time ago. Hey, I have a better question. Does his face remind you of someone? Uh, wait. He does look familiar. Drag? Uh, yes. If you're new and confused, don't worry, I am as well. <laughs> How's the kid doing, Doc? Just a minor concussion. He should wake up in a couple of hours. Thank God. And what about Officer Dre- Oh, Miss Karen? What are you doing here? Amber, dear, please come with me. Miss Karen? Uh, um, okay. A couple of hours later. Okay, so we're in the hospital now. Hmm. Doctor, what do the reports say about this patient that you called us here for? I called you here to study this patient, Dreg Morris, who is nothing less than a miracle of nature. Oh wait, now we have the adult version of Dreg in the middle bed and we have in the left bed the kid Dreg. Like, when and how did the timelines collide? Huh? I mean, look at his reports. Blood tests revealed he has more alcohol than blood in his systems. <laughs> That's funny. Really? How interesting. Shouldn't he be dead? Exactly. He should be more dead than my interest in the backbites, but he's still alive. But, Doctor, is this man ever going to wake up? Don't be ridiculous. The alcohol in his systems have damaged his brain to the point where I doubt there's even basic activity in it. Let alone waking up. It is my professional opinion that this man will die in a couple of... Nope, he's very much alive because he thrives on alcohol. <laughs> I'm back, bitches! <laughs> oh, okay, so that was the intro. I am really confused, but I'm happy we actually turned back in time and went back to those events that happened because there was still a lot of stuff that needed to... Oh, explain. Move it! I feel sober. It feels like I haven't had a drink in over four years. What? Wait, how are you alive? I have too many grudges to die yet. Now get lost. 
Oh! For future reference, never get in between me and my addiction. Future reference? What the? That's me? Yup, that's you indeed. Oh crap, there's one more thing left. I had completely forgot about this part. To be honest, I did as well drag because we skipped over this like, well, how many episodes have been in between now? A lot of them. Hey, you! Ugh, spare me! Give me that! Ugh, my head medical thingy! Now, just need to remove the mirror and... Wait a minute, did did Vazen J fix Kid Drag? Did he? The medallions of life and death. I'm glad I had this in my pockets from the random post office incident. Right, one more thing left to do. Hey! Wake up! Uh, what? I mean, no, no, it's still not fixed. He has, he has still a huge forehead. It's just like, no, it's not just a huge fo It's a normal face, but it's like a kid's face stuck on a normal adult face, and like, the whole face has been lowered down. There's still something very weird going on. I don't want to give you a long-winded speech like last time, so I'll leave you with these couple of words. <sighs> Always be truthful in your words and actions, no matter how much of an asshole you appear to others. Huh? <laughs> Adios! <laughs> what? Just happened? Did Drag open a time portal? Considering that I'm not exploding into a million particles, I can safely assume that it worked. Now, all that's left to find is my wife and my daughter. Technically, Ada isn't Jags' wife yet? <laughs> he just remembers that? Because he got the memories of the older version of him? I don't know, am, am I wrong? So, should I go alone? Or are we going together to admit ourselves in a mental asylum? Together! <laughs> hmm. Oh, and... So that's what happened in between. <coughs> but normally there should be a ghost now, standing on the opposite side of Drag, but there isn't. Drag, are you okay? Do you need CPR? Because if you do, you're a pervert and I should slap you. Stop offering me CPR, people! Yeah, it was the ghost I was supposed to offer CPR. Uh, but I didn't offer you CPR. Uh, right. Weird. For a second, I felt that there should have been a person here who would offer me CPR. So the thing that the older drag swapped with the kid drag made it so that he couldn't see the ghosts anymore? And so, with the ability to see the departed souls sealed by the medallions of life and death, the fate of the universe changed to accommodate its twist, thus saving it from destruction. At least, for now. Oh, wait a minute. If Jack, can, if Jack can't see ghosts and shit, then that means that he would never get traumatized. Maybe he wouldn't even meet... Well, he would meet Evelyn, but he wouldn't stay behind because he saw ghosts over there. Oh, there's some... There's a twist happening here. Season 2, Episode 1, Death Monarch. That's a big twist. So, do we have a protocol for this? Okay, Polly and Tira. Protocol? Of course we don't! What kind of local police station has a freaking protocol for explosions? Uh... Those were random explosions? Hey, don't yell at me! I'm just asking you for solutions! It's not like I can punch an explosion. Stop throwing explosives, assholes! We're trying to think here! Mom, I don't think you can hear us due to the explosions. Oh, okay. Then why don't you go and talk with them? Oh. Uh. Oh. Who is firing at them? So, what did they have to say? <laughs> We're playing tennis with, with the soldiers. <laughs> oh, I think they can hear us perfectly fine. But... Stop throwing soldiers at them. We'll pay for their insurance if they die. Our tax money will. <laughs> 
Where are these two in charge of this operation? Couldn't they have spared someone else? Slow down! Slow down! For the love of God, slow down! I regret getting this horse! <laughs> <laughs> it's the horse on speed! I'm fast and I'm depressed and I'm taking drugs again! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> wait, was that? Hey, wait, turn back! How do I steer this horse? I hope they don't take away my horse license for this! <laughs> drugs rule! Don't do kids drag. Wait, what? What did I say? Don't do kids drag? Well, don't do kids drag. <laughs> what I meant to say was, don't do drugs, kids. <laughs> That's better. Laying on the floor doing a job? So like you, drag. I'd rather be nailed to the ground rather than get on that crazy horse again. Somebody get me hammer and nails! Also some planks of wood? My lifelong dream of crucifying drag is coming true today! Oh, you wanna fight? Let's fight! I'm in a bad mood today anyway! Let's go! Go? Let's go! And the horse is off again. <laughs> hey wait! Come back! I still have seven installments on you! Hey! Great. Thanks a lot. You owe me a horse now. Me? What did I do? Exist. If it wasn't for you two, I wouldn't have stopped and fell. I don't accept checks, only cash. Just debit it from the cash I lent you. It's not like I will see it again anyway. Might as well get some closure about it. Why do you bring that up now? I'm so embarrassed that I wish the ground will explode and swallow me all. Oh, Drag, ask and you shall receive. <laughs> but what is happening here? What the? Instead of swallowing me all, the ground exploded twice? Did God have a stroke or something? It's not God. It's those two. Is it Ida and Mina with the dragon? Is it? Wait. Oh, it's. Mmm. Those guys are from the Cyan Empire. No one is allowed entry. Anyone who tries will be blown to bits. God, Dragel is in the middle of his mission. Any obstacles will not be tolerated. Finally! We're getting back to the Dragel storyline. I was asking myself already what, what was happening to that storyline. I was like completely gone. What the? Aren't those Emily and Ethan? Oh wait, wait, those two... Don't those two have a crush on Drag or something? Wait, you know them? Yeah, they're with Dragel, the guy that hypnotized you two and grew. So we were right. These two are blocking the gate that leads to the inner city. There are others guarding the remaining gates as well. Gru managed to enter with a couple of soldiers before they blocked the gate. But who knows what's the situation inside? I can't find hope out here. Could she also be in there? That's bad. Oh, he's referencing Amber as Hope, I guess. Hey! You two! Stop that! Drag Morris? You're alive? How on earth did you even get here? Well, after I was thrown like yesterday's garbage down a hole by your god, I was in a hospital and only got out today. Whoa, whoa, ho, we we're really jumping in the timeline here, wait, so... Oh god, everything that happened with Medivu Cop 10 and... Oh wait, no! That was a different dra Oh god, I really have to make sure I, I don't mess up with the different drags. This is the drag we had in the beginning. Medieval Cop 10 part 1 and 2 and all the others in between, those were all the, the mental drag who was from a different universe, timeline, whatever, I, I don't care. <laughs> ah, I'm so glad you two are born. Like I thought, this timeline is the best. <laughs> yes! Yes, it's the, it's the best timeline indeed, because it's the only timeline where Ina and Mina are actually alive. Uh, what an odd thing to say. Did the dogs accidentally give you alcohol instead of an IV? Ah, uh, look honey. Drag is awake at fine. I think. Right. Wait, does that mean we are not selling his house and pocketing the money anymore? Oh, I knew Vero was up to something. I knew it. Later I met the ghost dog from hell. Phil. He caught me up with everything that happened. Now that you're awake, my job is done. With this good deed, I can finally ascend to heaven. Oh, fill the dog. Oh, that's some, that's a, nah, that, those like those are some memories. And he's gone to heaven. Uh, okay then. Well then, I suppose I should. What the? And he was denied. <laughs> Uh, apparently it is a sin to pee on the heavenly clouds. Something about making the rainwater salty. So, see you in hell next time you die. Oh, for the love of... 
Wait, did God just send a dog to hell? Oh, 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 that's not gonna, nope, that's not gonna stand. Mm -mm, nope. I need that horse! How much? I was ready to rumble! That horse really is on some nasty speed, man. Uh, but that's not my... I'll pay you in eight installments. Here's the first one. Uh, um, sure. The horse is yours now, sucker. <laughs> sucker. I would have easily given ten installments if you had haggled. Mmm, drag. Mm. Oh, <laughs> okay. And he's gone. Ah, where are the seatbelts on this thing? <laughs> Imagine seatbelts on horses. <laughs> And that's pretty much what happened. Chaos, just chaos. That's that's all that happened. Pure chaos. I see. But that's not what we meant. Huh? What we meant was how did you survive the encounter with Oh God Drazel? You should have died before you were dropped. Oh, uh, well, he did. But then he wasn't, so he didn't. He didn't. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, that? Let me explain. You see, due to many circumstances, I cannot. Tira, did you hear that? You mean Dreg's drunken ramble? Yeah, I heard it. Exactly. Huh? What are you... The explosions. They stopped? Oh. Uh, yeah, well, of course, because they're talking with Dreg. More like the bomb throwers are distracted by Dreg's story. We can use this to sneak attack them. I see. And so you see... The other drags band together and got inside a giant version of me to defeat Satan. And, I mean, at this point, everybody else who is active at the scene would be thinking Drag is just, well, stalling for time, but no, it's it's actually what happened. Psst, Drag, keep him distracted. What? <laughs> yeah, no, he's not distracting them, he's actually talking to them. <laughs> keep telling them more of your horrible fantasies till we sneak up on them and capture them. Uh, okay. I will try. No more than try. If you don't want them to find us and drop literal bombs on us, that will make my children's orphans. Okay. What an interesting hallucination of a person who is clearly a mental patient. But that's enough entertainment. Back to our jobs. Stop that! You will hurt someone! Especially... Uh... Me? Aren't you guys worried that you will hurt me? I thought you guys used to like me. Yes, we used to. But back then, our training was incomplete. It was only recently as last month that we finished it. Training? Considering what happened to Polly and Tira, don't you mean... Influence, brainwash, fear tactics... I guess you could say brainwash. You guys have been brainwashed. Damn, do I have to enter your brains like I did with Polly, Grant, Tiros? Oh, i rather not because... I don't know, those weren't my favorite episodes, really. What? You dispel his teachings? Blasphemy! How did you even do it? Let alone not letting yourself be influenced by his grandeur. Oh, it's easy. Chase has everyone believing that he is the top god of the universe. While he isn't. But the truth is that gods are not even the ultimate ones. Let alone a fallen god like him. The true top dogs are... Spirit realm, angels, divines... Um... I, I guess angels? I don't really even remember? Dang it. I guess divines... Are the top ones? The spirit realm, not really. I think it's the divines, yeah. Divines are the true architects of universes. The divine who constructed ours is called Ar Ar Arcana. Not Ark, but Arcana. Arcana! She created our universe. Although I would be lying if I didn't say that someone else helped create it. That bastard tricked Arcana into introducing a dangerous element into our universe. Death, free will, hell. Um, free will? Was that it? I think it is. Free will, the wild card of the universe. Makes it highly unpredictable and unstable, but that's not important anymore. Oh, they're on the roofs. What's important is that I saved Arcana by making her into my daughter. Kick that asshole's ass who introduced free will. Wait a minute, what? Arcana is now Drex's daughter? How does that make sense? Oh wait, he, well, in some way he, he did make sure that she got her... If you resurrect someone, is that person then your son or your daughter? Huh. And successfully distracted you two with a story that no one will believe is true anyway. But it is true, but no one will believe it, yeah. Huh? Distracted? Now! Got him! No need to thank me. 
I didn't need it, thanks man, I saved the universe, and I don't need it now. Drag is just saying that he actually wanted to have some thank you, but, um, well, nope. Uh, why hasn't anyone given me medical attention yet? Nah, he seems fine. He survived. You see, he's back on his feet, so, nah, he survived, no problem. <laughs> Suck at you two! He finally captured you monsters. Oh no, how tragic. Now what will happen to us? What the hell? These guys are so nonchalant about it, makes us feel underwhelmed about our victory. Hey, you two. Where is Drazel? What are his plans? Also, why do any flies around him? Do not speak of the Great One in vain. Your sins are already high as it is. Do not incur more of his wrath. What the? Drazel is oh god. Drazel is a higher being than his lowly humans. Just looking at his face directly is a sin against heaven. What crazy devotion. Everyone, Everyone who opposes his will shall fall in hell and suffer in the pit of searing hot lava for all eternity. Well, Drake already went to hell and he became friends with Lucifer, so I don't think he would be suffering that much. <laughs> yeah, I've been to hell, and I doubt the devil will punish me for mocking his escaped prisoner. <laughs> huh? <laughs> now get your mind straight before I smack you one more time! Uh, uh, Eh? Drag! Can't you control your strength? How hard did you hit them? Uh, but all I did was give them a small smack. Are they back? I think they're back. Uh, Mom? Dad? Where are you? Yeah, they're definitely back. What the? Mommy? Daddy? Where are you? Uh, uncle? Did you see my mommy and daddy? What's going on? Why are they acting like this? Because they just woke up from their brainwash and it seems that they were brainwashed already from when they were itsy bitsy little children. This is too bizarre. It's like they lost their minds. Hmm. Hey kids, calm down. We're police officers. Can you tell us what happened? P police Mommy and dad used to tell me they're good people. Yes, you're absolutely right. Now, why didn't you tell me what happened? I'm Emily, Quartz, and he's Ethan, Quartz. We are twinses. That's what mommy calls us. You are in the amusement park, and, and we are here now. I c can't remember anything in between. Amusement park? Wait, how old do you guys think you are? Pretty young, I guess. Uh, let's see, one, two, no. Daddy said we're eight years old now. What? Yup. I see. I get it now. Huh? You do? If I'm not wrong, they were trained, kidnapped, brainwashed. Well, yeah, they were brainwashed, but they were first kidnapped. If I'm not wrong, these two were kidnapped as kids and have undergone the brainwashing that you both also went through. What? So these two have been brainwashed ever since they were kids? No wonder there's a huge gap in their memory. It's actually very admirable that they were able to hold on so long for not being completely taken over by the brainwash. Because when they met Drag, they were still kinda them, they weren't fully brainwashed yet. Can you help us find our mom and dad? Um, yeah, sure, that's your job. Hmm, chances are that my touch destroyed the brainwashing. Or to be more accurate, my strength soul dimensional technique. I guess the dimensional technique? Drazel controlled them with his own dimensional technique. Chances are mine clashed with his and erased it when I touched them. That rat bastard! How is he even doing this? How can he control this many people at once? If I tell the truth about Drazel being a demigod, it might incite dormant fear. If they believe me in the first place. Uh, I think there might be some kind of element involved, such as... <laughs> drugs! It's always drugs, superpowers thre- uh, I mean, I, I guess we could say drugs if we're gonna lie about it. Drazel is using some kind of mind-weakening drug, after which he implants suggestive thoughts into their heads about him being a god. That sounds insane, but seeing is believing. How do we stop it then? Huh? Shouldn't it wear off if we smack their heads? Like Drag did? <laughs> um, it will if Drag does it, but not you guys. Uh, that's not... 
Oh, Prince Bernard. Oh hell, God, Drachel! The mighty one's right hand man, send me to check on. Oopsie. Well, get him before he escapes! Ah! Save me, my god! Hit chop attack! Ah! You may beat my body, but my soul will forever belong to my god and master Drachel! Huh? It didn't work? Like I was trying to say, maybe you didn't hit hard enough. Here, let me try. Oh no, Tira, no, no, don't. <laughs> Now's my chance. All I need to do is touch him and... Poor man. Well, actually, it's it's, pff, it's Prince Bernard. Nobody likes Prince Bernard. Uh, stop, I beg you. Why are you hitting me? I'm the fourth prince of Sion. Uh, wait, what? Do you remember everything? Uh, of course I do. I was kidnapped by that evil woman. Then she disappeared and then you guys found me. I remember being caught after I split with Eva's sister during the escape and I was brought before that traitor Drachel. But after that it's all blank. The next thing I know is that I'm at your feet. Ooh, interesting. Tira did get uh, possessed by an angel and then she was called Tira just as hard. So maybe some of that essence is still in her, which also clashes with Drazel's mind control, our dimensional technique. It worked? The mind control was erased? But how? See? We only need to hit them harder. That's how you fix broken things. Sure, Tira. Sure. Wait. Yes, indeed. I am the angel of justice, possessing the body of the one you call Tira. Justice? The angel, my daughter, she possessed Tira once. She healed Tira when she was fatally wounded. Oh, right, I totally forgot Tira got hurt pretty badly. But it was actually the fault of the angel, because without the angel, Tira would have never been in that situation. I actually wonder if we're going to see that angel again. Any angel, really. Because most of them have been a one-time show. Tira just as hard, Orm has totally disappeared in the background. Well, actually, she got killed lately. Damn. Maybe my punch is stronger than yours, Four Eyes? Could it be? Some of her powers remain inside Tira? <laughs> that works out great! Alright everyone, listen up! I have a plan! Tira, go around smacking everyone you think is being mind controlled. <laughs> Let her do what she's good at. As long as she doesn't take out her axe. <laughs> My time has come! Polly, I need you to find Eva's sister. Helene, I think is her name. She has two or three more idiots with her. What? Why? It's because she is Eva's sister, has evidence, is in danger. Oh, wait, who is that again? Helene? Oh, wait, Helene Shadow... Helene Shadowheart is the sister of Eva and she is from the Balboa Kingdom. We met her once, I guess, when we had NVIDIA games. That is one of the, th the third, fourth game. I don't know which one it was because there were three days for it. So, yeah. Dang, I completely forgot about her already. Because, yeah, she's Eva's sister. She isn't? No, she is Eva's sister, but maybe that was not the answer. Has evidence or is in danger? Maybe she is in danger because she has evidence? So, has evidence? I don't know. She's currently in possession of the evidence that will help us bring down Tracer's organization across the continent. Oh my god, I have to admit that I don't remember anything about this anymore. It's been from so long ago. Fazen just dropped the Drazel storyline and went with the whole god scenario with the vines, etc. I, I, I can't even remember which episode it was. Is it possible this is from one of my older videos? Has it been that long ago? Oh well, I'll just continue. Sorry for that. Got it! What about you? Me? I'm going after Drazel. His goal should be the royal palace. The king, to be exact. Uh, what should I do? Nothing, Prince Bernard. Just do nothing. You're in charge of babysitting these two till we get everything back in control. Uh, babysit who? I would never let Prince Bernard babysit any of my children. <laughs> huh? I don't like this uncle. He looks mean. Officer, we will behave. We can meet our parents again this way, right? Of course! I'll turn heaven and earth into one to find them. What, uh, Emily and Ethan? What happened to them? Brainwash. Oh, right. One thing before I go. What is it? 
Try and describe me in one sentence. Um, a depressed medieval cop. Drunk as well. You're the king of assholes. You're one of those people who is being tolerated, and even then, their patience is running thin. You're like boiling milk. If I take my eyes off you, it feels like you will spill over your guts and die. Great, thanks. Now I'm off to find Drajil. Why did he need them to do that? And if luck supports me this time, I might find my daughter as well. Is she actually gonna be in the city? Because last time we saw her, she got taken away by a doctor. What? <laughs> To be fair, we already knew, but this is the first time Drake mentions it to anyone else. They didn't take it lightly, apparently. Next time we encounter some more familiar faces. Are they gonna be friendly or an enemy? Be sure to stick around to find out. Maybe subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video. Ciao!